Oppenheimer trailer one 10 minutes ago. No more pausing. We imagine a future. And our imaginings horrify us. They won't fear it. Until they understand it. Then they won't understand it. Until they've used it. Theory will take you only so far. I don't know if we can be trusted with such a weapon. But we have no choice. Oh man, this looks so fucking good. These visuals are incredible. That's fine, man. <laughs> he even looks like him. I think this is meant to be fine, man. Or this guy. But I think it's this guy. Uh, isn't Matt Damon meant to be in this? So they're obviously holding some... No, Feynman's probably going to be played by a famous actor. So probably like... Uh... Uh, Matt Damon, which would be a fun story arc of like his whole career because of like, uh, you know, when he played Goodwill Hunting, right? The young genius. And now he's, you know, going to be Richard Feynman, Nobel Prize winning genius. I really love the quote where he said, theory only takes you so far. So yeah, did I say 2023? So it's literally coming out next year. I thought it might have been 24, 23. Man, that's exciting. That's so close. My birthday month as well. So um, theory will only take you so far. This is very true, all right? Theory, you can, you can come up with all kinds of things in theory. And what separates physics from mathematics is evidence and experiment, okay? Like uh, if you know much about physics and math, you'd know that, you know, physics, math is the language of physics, right? And math may or may not be the language of the universe. But physics, if you imagine like as this giant round circle, okay? Physics is a small part of math. And the, it is just math. It's the same as math with the guiding principle of you will be guided by evidence. That's like the axiomatic assumption of physics. You know, like follow the evidence. The evidence will uh, take you to new, to greener pastures, right? Like, uh, uh, so theory, you know, theoretical physicists, if you want to go into theoretical physics, you got to do, it's just physics, right? You can't do physics without both sides. So people who are wanting to separate them all, it's nonsense. It's silly. I myself am a PhD student in theoretical astrophysics, but you can't do theoretical stuff without also being guided by experimental stuff. So I do computer simulations of uh, uh, looking at the universe and mess around with them, right, to try and figure out new things about the universe. And in speaking of this, let me actually just tell you about something I'm making myself called it's the first post quantum VPN in the world. And I've just started creating it because uh, the US uh, government ex intelligence officers are saying uh, powerful quantum computers are the single largest uh, economic national security threat in the history of Western civilization. Uh, and powerful ones are going to be built very soon in a few years. And so this post quantum cryptography stuff, which this has, uh, is going to be really, really important because powerful quantum computers are threatening, you know, capture now, decrypt later attacks, right? Hackers could be stealing your data right now to decrypt in a few years by running Shaw's algorithm once they're powerful enough to do that. 
which will break all standards of encryption currently on the internet. So please come protect yourself. There's a seven day free trial and help me out. I'm trying to venture into entrepreneurial stuff and I, you know, coming from a physics background. Um, what else was there in this trailer? I want to, I kind of want to watch it again because the visuals, it's just spectacular. Anyone, anyone else a fan of uh, Peaky Blinders? When they announced this, I thought it was perfect. I, I remember they announced it before they said who was playing um, Oppenheimer. And I remember thinking, oh man, like he literally even looks like Oppenheimer. It's got to be him for sure. I remember posting a picture and then they announced it. And I was like, I got it. <laughs> and he's such a great actor. I'm glad he's getting a chance at being, uh, you know, front front man he's he's brilliant Piggy blinders is brilliant and obviously they're going to have that famous <laughs> line the famous uh speech he did you know i am become death when he read the what, what's it called the bag divide or whatever the indian uh religious thing uh, i don't know much about it but i at, at times i look into it because it's fun but um he was oppenheimer was famously very into that uh I don't think he believed in the religion, but he, he was fascinated by it. And he, I think he read a lot of, into it. Uh, and that's why he was able to recite it <laughs> word for word. And he tells that little story. Um, you know, the prince turns to the to the princess, um, is it? And says, I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. And he tells the whole story. There's so much to be said here. And there's a lot of people who, who look at this man and think, how could someone so intelligent be so stupid? But I don't look at it so simplistically as a lot of humans do. I think uh, these people at this time were forced to act. You know, a lot of people were scared that they were going to be beaten to uh, creating these things and uh, they'd be used against them. So the only way to protect themselves, they figured, and the world potentially was to pioneer ahead and create these things. It's a trolley cart problem. If you've ever come across those, you know, do you kill... A few people, or do you kill many people? And if you have the the option to to change course, do you do you move the lever? By moving the lever, you're now at fault for you. You know you can potentially be, you know, you're the reason these people died. But if you didn't move the lever and you did nothing, all these people are going to die. Yes. The world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty. And to impress him, takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. Yeah, extremely heavy stuff. Until they've used it. Isn't it so amazing this, uh, how it's such a parallel to what's happening right now with all the AI stuff, right? With uh, chat GBT. <laughs> You know, it's kind of ringing true, but in a sense, uh, I think what this this line of dialogue is saying is not quite true. They won't understand until they use it. I f I feel like, you know, with what's happened with ChatGPT, it kind of disproves this, right? Just because a lot of people have used it doesn't mean they understand anything with what's going on. But I think what he's really getting at here in this line is, they won't even be able to imagine what you're talking about and what we're dealing with until you give them something to to play with. And then at least they have some idea of what's going on, right? Uh, I think with this bomb, the level of energy uh, that you're dealing with, you know, famously because of Einstein revealed that, you know, the energy mass equivalence equals MC squared, you could get a huge amount of energy from a very tiny bit of mass. You know, a tiny little bit of mass times the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second squared. And, you know, you convert that to energy, that's, that's a lot, a shitload of energy, right? And that is a nuclear bomb there's many iterations um and i think until people saw they they couldn't even imagine why is there so much sun stuff like you might have realized this looks like the sun uh well because what you're doing with the bomb is you know nuclear processes you're dealing uh, with like nuclear fission nuclear fusion later on with hydrogen bombs 
Um, so you're trying to do stuff that happens in the sun. You're trying to trying to recreate, you know, the processes of you know the the main furnaces of our universe, right? which is so. It's really beautiful that he put that in here. Take you only so far. I like that line, but I also think it's really important to emphasize in this movie that uh, theory is also incredibly important. We couldn't have got here without theory, right? Theory to experiment took a lot less time than zero to theory. Do you see what I'm saying? Right? From nothing to understanding energy equivalence, that step is huge and it took a long fucking time. Right? We've been around for a long time. But then to go from the theory, understanding how much energy you get out of a little bit of mass to experiment is not that long. It wasn't very long at all. And so it, you, it's not enough to just do theory. But theory is hugely important, all right? So don't don't underplay theory. Beautiful. All right, I reckon we'll leave the video there, my friends.